I cut the check, I cut the check, I cut the check Tell my niggas we up next, so we up next She shot a text, she shot a text, she shot a text Kill the p- I might put the bitch to rest Put a nigga on that same shit I've been ballin' with my niggas, Kevin King Bridge Oh, you drippy, but you better tuck your chain quick What's good, y'all? I'm back with another video, man. I'm staying with the mic in my hand. It helps me with my energy. Um, Y'all know why we're here, man. We got to talk about my team. Uh, we lost in the first round, man. I, It's not as hard. It's not as hard to deal with. I'm not going to lie. It's not as hard to deal with. One, because it's like a lot of stuff you could say. If you want to make excuses. I'm not making excuses at all. The Suns deserve that. But it's like you could say AD was hurt. You could say LeBron was hurt. You could say we had a short off season. You can use a lot of excuses, but um, yeah, it was hard, man. I watched the first half. I'm not watching the second half. I'm not gonna lie. The second half started at like 12:30. I had work the next morning. I was not finna stay up that long. So, um, the only thing I'm really disappointed about is just the energy, man. It didn't look like we came in up out with enough energy. Like you see, in the first quarter, Devin Booker scored more points than us. That's, I think he had like 20, 22, and we had 14. And like he, him, him, he, him himself, he came out with more energy than our whole entire team. Um, I was expecting a way different energy than LeBron from LeBron. Um, usually when LeBron's like, when he needs to step it up, he steps it up. But I don't know, maybe we were looking at the decline of LeBron. That's hard to say, but that it was something that's going to happen soon. Um, yeah, and then the rest of the team just didn't look like they was ready for it. Like they were obviously the better team than us, but with our two stars. We, you would expect us to win that series, but injuries killed. Um, so what I want to start? I want to start off with the Suns since they're not my team. Um, shout out to Devin Booker, man. It's about time that he's getting the recon- the recognition that he's been deserved. Um, you would have people the past few years that wouldn't put Devin Booker so high because he hasn't touched the playoffs. But you can't sit here and tell me that even though Devin Booker never touched the playoffs, you didn't know that he was a great player. But now that he's touching the playoffs and he's dominating in the playoffs, I think he averaged 29 points his first round series against the defending champions. Y'all want to act like, oh, this is new. Devin Booker been doing this for years. I think the second year or the third year in his career, Devin Booker was averaging like 22 points. And ever since then, he's been taking off. But now he's finally getting the recognition and I'm loving it. And I'm happy for the Suns and the Suns showed a, bl- showed a blueprint that a lot of rebuilding teams should look at. Now, you look at the first half of the rebuild, drafting Marquise Chris, that was terrible. Drunk on Bender, that was terrible. But then when you look at the past few years, they go out and trade for Mikel Bridges in the draft, a player that they were hoping that can, they can build up and make him a 3 D wing, which he is, and one of the best 3 D wings in the league. You get Cam Johnson at, I want to say, the same pick, number 10. And everybody was like, wow, that's crazy. But that was the player that they wanted. So they went and got him. And he fits so perfect with this team. And then you get Jalen Smith. Now, he hasn't played as good or he hasn't played at all basically this season. But I can understand where they went with that pick. Another player who fits what they need. A shot blocker, a defender, and he can also shoot. I understand that. And then you go out there and you trade for Chris Paul. And you make the big move. And you trade for pick. You for, ah, god damn. You trade for Chris Paul. And now look what y'all at. Now look where y'all at. They're in the second round of the playoffs. And they might make a deep run. They might go to the finals. I'm not going to lie. I think the West is up in the air. The West has a lot of teams. But yeah. Their rebuilding was smart. It started off bad, but then when James Jones came in, he fixed it up. Got Monty Williams, another great coach. Then he got he made the bench. The bench is fun. The bench is really good. You got Frank Kaminsky. You got Cameron Payne. Um, they even got players that don't even get playing time, but in any other team they'll get playing time. Javon Carter, Langston Galloway, Etwan Moore. Like this is a really deep, fun team. You got DeAndre Ayton, a player that can hold down the paint, and it's a paint beast himself. And he's actually gotten way better on defense. I feel like now that they're starting to win, that's helped him get way better on defense. So, looking at their rebuild, is going really well. Um, happy that Chris Paul doesn't look as hurt as he was the first few games. But, yeah, I'm happy for him for that. Um, like I said, happy for Devin Booker that he's finally getting his recognition. And he's stepping up to the plate, man. What he had, 30, 33 in the first half. And the World 47 in the closing game. Obviously the best player on the court. So, shout out to the Suns. Suns versus Nuggets next series. Um, since I didn't do that on my predictions for yesterday, I might as well give it now. Um, if Chris Paul is healthy, Suns is, Suns is six. If he's not healthy, 
Suns in six. I just feel like the Suns are a better team, man. They're a more dependable team. Like, it's always about the two stars and then the others. The others on the Suns always step up. And what I mean by the unders, the others is Jay Crowder, DeAndre Ayton, um, Mikel Bridges, Cam Johnson, Dario Saric, Frank Kaminsky. They always step up. It'd be times where it's just Jokic and MVP. I mean, I said MVP. <laughs> MPJ and um the other players don't step up like Monte Morris has been having a couple, a good couple games, but it'll be times where he's not there. Faku, sometimes he's not effective. So it's basically gonna be um, who's others stay up. I mean, step up. And I feel like the Suns, Suns are a way better team, and they have both of their stars. So I feel like they're gonna win the series at six. But if it was a go seven, I wouldn't mind because Jokic is the MVP, and he has been carrying this team for the longest time. Um, now to the Lakers man Lakers I don't know man it was just the energy this whole season this energy was kind of weird like we started off hot yes but then people got hurt and we still had like one of the best defense in the league but I don't know it's like yesterday it felt like this whole series it felt like we just thought in our head that we were going to beat this team easily and we really didn't have to come out and play well this Suns team was a hungry team and they just kicked us in our ass that's what they did um, the two the two games that we won, cool. Yeah, they were cool. But the Suns, most of the games played way better basketball than us and helped them come out with a W. Um, the energy was terrible from our team, especially yesterday. I feel like the only player that really came out to play yesterday is KCP, but he won't get enough credit for it. KCP came out and balled the first half. Um, other than that, man, you got Dennis Schroeder doing something with his page, saying he's not the point guard of the LA, of LA Lakers no more. Something about that. And then you hear him in an um, interview, the post-game interview, that he wants to be a Laker. Like, he's confusing. And, like, before he even got traded here, he said, he told the Thunder, he said, don't trade me to the Lakers. And they traded him to the Lakers. So, I don't, I, don't, I doubt he comes back. Um, but we have a lot of players that we have to move. Kyle Kuzma has to get moved. And it's not wrong with him. It's just, he doesn't fit. He does he's <laughs> Something in the head is just, I don't, I don't want to call the boy dumb, but, like, he, uh, he's a good shooter. And, I, you know what? Let me stop it. Kyle, Kyle Kuzma has had a better second half of the year. Like, he's got better as a defender. Um, he got better as a shooter. But then this other stuff, he just lacks. <laughs> like, some, some of his IQ just be terrible. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm happy for Frank. I'm happy that Frank Vogel did not play drum yesterday, even though, shit, we did get blown out. So, you probably could have thrown him in. But, like, that was, a, that was a really good adjustment. But Marcus Aldridge just didn't come out and play. He has to go. Um... I feel like the only three players that are safe this offseason are Kyle Kuzma. I mean, not Kyle Kuzma. Contavious Caldwell Pope, LeBron James, and AD. And the reason why I say KCP is safe is because he's under clutch sports. And the Lakers are a team with clutch sports, so I don't think he's going to go. Um, the only way Taylor Horn Tucker will go, even though he's with clutch, clutch sports, is if he gets a big deal from another team. Because Taylor Horn Tucker does have a lot of potential. So I wouldn't be surprised if you get a random team like the Thunder or the um, Pistons to give him a big deal, like a little $15 million deal that we just can't accept. So, yes, yeah, it should only be really three untouchables on the team. But I really do feel like we need to go go out and get another a third star. You see a lot of people saying Damian Lillard, but like, what do we have to give to the the pace the, the Portland Trailblazers? Like, we're gonna give them Kyle Kuzma? And we just expect them to accept that? No. Even if we give them Kyle Kuzma and Taylor Horn Tucker, I would not accept that. It's just no, <laughs> no. So like, a realistic star we can go out and get. Kyle Lowry, who we should have already. That Taylor Horn Tucker deal was on the table. It was on the table. And I understand Taylor Horn Tucker is a great player. Simon Clutch Sport. That's probably why he stayed. But is a he's a good young up and coming player. But y'all trying to win championships right now. Kyle Lowry, if we had Kyle Lowry, we're we're cruising all the way until we get to the finals. I'm not gonna lie. Kyle Lowry is that big of a deal. Like, say the same thing if he was on the Clippers. They were cruising through the whole final. But we decided to keep him. I don't know, man. That 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 kind of shot us. That fucked us up. I'm not gonna lie. Just like with the um, with the Heat not not trading uh, James Harden for James Harden because y'all wanted to keep Tyler Hero. Those were two dumb decisions for the Lakers and the Heat because y'all want to win now. Those players are not ready to win now. Even though Tyler Hero had a great season last uh, year in the bubble. Those players are not ready to win now. You get James Harden, y'all will not lose in the first round. We get Kyle Lowry, we would have not have lost in the first round. Even if AD was hurt, we wouldn't have lost. So, I don't know, man. 
I don't know, man. We got to make a lot of changes. Hopefully, LeBron is not declining so much. But, like, yesterday, man, he just looked bad. But I'm not going to say he was hurt this series. Like, you even seen that one game. What was that game? F- what game they lost? It was game three. Dude sprinted down the court. Alley hoop. His head was above the rim. LeBron, he, I don't think he was hurt. I just think he was gassed, man. I just think he was gassed. I expect LeBron to come out on fire next year. But, yeah, it was bad, man. It was bad. It looked like he was declining some. Like, when he hit that first three, I was like, yep, he's coming. He's coming. And then he just didn't come. Pause. Pause. <laughs> he just didn't show up, man. He didn't show up. But so, um, hopefully, 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 hopefully. Hopefully, it's not the decline of LeBron. Because if it is, man, it's been a long time watching LeBron. I'm, I'm really fortunate to be able to go up and watch one of the greatest players of all time, if not the greatest player of all time. But, yep, yeah, that's how I feel, man. I don't feel like we got to make any more changes. Just We just got to get better. We need that third star. Like, everybody else is getting the third star around us. Need that third star. And don't let Kyle Lowry fall to the Clippers because they will fly through. If Kyle Lowry and Kawhi go back to the Clippers, they're going to fly through that. They're going to fly through. Because, like I said, LeBron's declining. AD cannot stay healthy to save his life. So, we need to get our third star. I don't know who it is. I don't know who it's going to be. I thought Dennis Schroeder and Montrezl was going to be it, but nope. They got to go. They both got to go. Montrezl is not coming back. I don't think he's he's not accepting that player option. He keeps throwing out hints that he just feels unwanted or he said he's wasting his time because he's on the bench. But, like, bro, you go out there, they're going to run a pick and roll with you, and they're going to attack you the whole time, or they're just going to give it to eight, and they're just going to body you. So, like, I don't know. You should be just mad at yourself. You're not good enough. <laughs> I'm sorry. But um, other than that, man, that's it for this video, man. Um, we get the Nets versus Bucks tomorrow. I cannot wait, and I get off like 20 minutes before that shit start. I can't wait. Um, Luca versus Kawhi, Clippers versus Mavericks. That's tonight. Can't wait for that. Hope, hopefully, Kristaps has a big game. I'm, I'm seeing the hate that Kristaps is getting, and I'm not liking it because when I'm watching the Mavs, it's just Kristaps go to the corner, go to the corner. Like it's really just flow through Luca. The other players eat. When you see Tim Hardaway Jr., um, Maxi Kleber eat is because they're getting the shots from Luca. So I don't know, man. I don't know. But other than that, that's it for this video. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.